Hi friends, today is going to be a viewer question. If you remember earlier at the end of November, earlier at the end of November, yep that's what I'm going with, I asked you guys for any questions that you may have about books or writing or whatever you may have and today I'm going to answer one of those questions. Today's question comes from Anna Robbins who I will link in the description box down below where you may find her on social media because she is wonderful and lovely and you should be subscribed to her if you're not already. Anna asked if you could rewrite the ending of any book that you read this year what would it be? I thought about it a lot. There were some books that I DNF'd this year and I was like I probably could have written a better ending. There were some books that I read and hated. I could probably write a better ending. But I have this thing. There's this series that I've read a couple of times and I reread it this year. So it counts. It's this series, Hex Hall, uh, by Rachel Hawkins, whom I love dearly. Um, I love her books. They make me so happy. Like, I, I just okay. So in particular this book which is Spellbound. This is the third book in the series and as it's a trilogy the last book in the series. Uh, so there is a character that dies in this book and I'm not sure why because I have feelings and Brianna if you're out there I know you also have feelings and I just like uh, it hurts me because I don't feel like there was really a reason for it other than to just be dramatic, for there to be a dramatic thing at the end. Like this person's life was a waste, which I guess is kind of the point in real life. Sometimes a person's life is just a waste, but this is a fairy tale and I want a happy ending and I want there to be like a, I just, I wanted more for this character. There are definitely other books where characters die at the end and I hate it because I'm like oh my heart but usually it's actually like going towards something of the plot that I understand or it makes sense for that character or it makes sense for the story like I get that I understand kind of why this happened and I do think that in some ways it does make sense for the character but there's just like there's a ghost thing and then this and it just I don't understand that aspect of it like it's I don't there's I just have so many questions and like I would love to sit down with Rachel and discuss this with her like why you kill my favorite character for her, boo and so like I have questions would I necessarily not kill that character I don't know for sure but I do believe there are like some other tweaks that could be made to either make it like more impactful or more reasonable or to not happen at all which I guess I mean some things some parts of it does make sense but some parts of it too is just like maybe not and so like that's why I picked this book was because I wanted to pick a book that I really enjoyed and that I did like the ending rather than something that I hated because I feel like that's too easy of an answer so if I had to pick a book to rewrite the ending of it would definitely be this one and I am not a hundred percent sure how I would tweak it but it would definitely be this series. If you don't know, the Hex Hall trilogy is about a girl named Sophie who is a witch and she essentially gets sent to this school um, for the misbehaving children of like witches and werewolves and vampires and etc etc. Uh, shapeshifters, fairies, things that of that nature. Um, and because she can't control her magic she's sent to the school and she gets like in with the mean girl crowd and there's like murder and mayhem and secret societies and just it's insane and I love it. Um, this is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I love to reread this one. I've reread it twice. Uh, it just it makes me happy. So yeah that's what I'm going with. I'm going I'm going with with Spellbound in particular, but the end of the Hexhall trilogy. That's what I'm calling my. Also, there's a cat on the cover of all three books, and not one time is there a cat mentioned in the book. In fact, our main character is allergic to cats. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, including the remainder of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.